Ranchers, vets, and scientists are sounding the alarm on an invasive parasite called the New World Screwworm as it gets dangerously close to once again, devastating the U.S. livestock. Put down your breakfast. A screwworm, which is actually a fly, lays its eggs, as many as 400 at a time, inside the wound or orifice of a warm-blooded animal. When the larvae hatch, they burrow into the living flesh. An infection called myosis can eat a full-grown steer in about a week. Not their first rodeo. Screwworms wreaked havoc on cattle farms in Texas from the 1930s through the 1980s. In the 1950s, USDA scientists started dropping millions of sterilized male flies by aircraft over infected areas to create a barren fly barrier, which eventually pushed screwworms south and out of the country. By 2000, the USDA managed to push that barrier far away to Panama's Darien Gap, where a sterile fly facility still churns out as many as 100 million screwworms weekly to hold the line. But in the last few years, that barrier has been breached due to understaffing at cattle checkpoints in Central America, U.S. federal cutbacks, and U.S.-Mexico border tensions. The USDA warns that a modest infestation could wipe $1.8 billion from Texas's economy. Some good news. Mexico and the U.S. reached an agreement last Friday on a plan to stop the screwworms.